So we're out here in Pittsburgh here to treat one of my favorite stinging insects, which would be the cicada killer. Not only does it look awesome, but this thing is huge. Let's take a look. This customer marked with flags where they're seeing them come out of. So it's hard to tell, but there's a hole and then they dig out all this sand. Here's a good one here. All this right here from a stinging insect that big. So they marked all the damage areas with flags. And you can see they're also damaging the yard here, killing all the grass in the areas, especially where they had homes last year. So we're gonna see if we can get one on video. The two reasons why this customer keeps getting cicada killers in their yard year after year after year, one, their soil. It's very sandy, which you'll see when I show you the tunnels that they build or that they dig out. Sand makes it very easy for them to dig. And number two, do you hear that? It's that summertime sound, cicadas, they're everywhere here. So it only makes sense for wherever cicadas are present, you'll also find cicada killers. Here is one that was just brought back. Boom. So they'll, they'll sting it, kill it, bring it back and then drag it right back down into their hole for their egg. And there's almost so much dirt that comes out that we have customers think that they have an issue with some type of mammal, you know, some animal that's digging, but it's really just an insect. So here's another one, take a look. This is one hole. So we have, we have two mounds and one hole in there. Let's take off our lens, get a little bit closer, and there it is. And there you have it, just from that one area. Sorry guys, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get any footage today of the cicada killers going in and out of their tunnel. So here's a shot of what they look like and how they act. Check it out.